You know what you don't do around here is go for a swim. No, no, no swimming in here. No swimming. Look at that. Look at this guy. He's got a big head. That's a big crop. Hey, um, now that we've been mucking around in the fresh water, I think we need to head to some salt water. 100% mate, time to catch a big salt water barrel, a metre one with my name on it, would be just great. Probably a couple of K down this track, off to the left, we should pass like this massive salt pan. I think we can get to the ocean if we cut across there. Cut across salt pans, oh awesome. We love cutting across salt pans. Not. And I'm sensing we're gonna get bogged. No, no, we don't wanna get bogged. We wanna get across without getting bogged. Now, the beauty of this is it allows us to cut across easy without having to hack through some really sort of thick country. Because to the south, it's all thickets. It's like thick country right up. I had a look, there's this just one spot that we can sort of cut across to the uh, beach and there's no big thicket. So, cross fingers, the salt pan isn't too wet. Definitely out on the salt pan now. Desert, isn't it? Big desert. All right, James, you go first and we'll watch. <laughs> I was going to send you across first, Jesse. Well, uh, let's meet middle grounds and send Simon. <laughs> we get good on you. It's all good, mate. It's hard as a rock. Wait, buddy, wait. Just a little bit bumpy. Looks like the water up ahead, but that might be a mirage, I think. That's a mirage, mate. How much does it look like water? Oh, I'm gonna try. <laughs> this craziness. Yeah, I picked up what looks like a bit of a faint track. Faint track's good. The bloody cow footprints have made this a pretty rough track. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I should be following you. It's all good. Let's get us across to this tree line and get out of these melon holes. Seriously, I'm really seasick in a minute. Come to your here. Yeah, it just seems that it's where the water sits, like the fresh water seems to do this. If we can follow a solid tree line, it'll start to flatten out. There's a big billabongy thing in there. Yeah, I see that. A bit of a swamp. Yeah, I don't think so. What's he drive across there thinking? Yeah, that's clean. Okay. Careful in there, might get a little soft. Yeah, I was watching you drive into that, and I thought, yeah, that's a bit clean. It might be worth a bit of a look on foot. What do you think? Here in you. After a quick recce on foot, we find a path through to the coast. There she is. Made it. <laughs> There's the ocean, there it is. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I expected, actually. It wasn't too great, though, was it? <laughs> see if we can get down onto the beach, eh, Simon? Yeah, it's, it's all a bit of rock up there. Oh, I can see a path past that rock, but there's big drop-offs here. There we are, we're good. Someone's been here before us. Mm, wheel tracks. Must be another way onto the beach somewhere, not further or back the other way. We weave back and forth between the top part of the beach and the bottom. Some of the rocky outcrops you just can't get past. Gonna need a bit of a run up to get up this sand dune. Oh baby, there you go. I'm up, you're gonna need to give it the berries. You might get stuck turning around, that's all. There you go. Just hit it. So easy. Next. Piece of cake. It's like we've got a fair run along the beach here to get to the creek. Yeah, it's a bit of a run. We should be able to get back down onto the sand once we get past all these rocks. We arrive as the sun is dropping into the gulf. Time for a feed and a fire. It's fishing tomorrow. Well, now it's time to fish the salt water. Oh, good oh too. Has he got a barra? Muck around. Nice, nice work, mate. That's a good looking fish. First fish of the day, mate. We are off the mark. Nice work, good fish. Come on. Chase is on. 
Jason's on to a stoinker. He's nice and quiet until he's calm on his yeah. birthday, isn't what he? What the hell is that? I'm going Stingray. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> stingray, that's what it is. All right, I'll get it up. You jump on it. Flick it. You guys taking it in turns to get Oh, he's got him stung. in the tail. Ooh, doesn't like his tail getting twisted, Simo. Oh, got your little back. There you go. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Stay well away from those that was things. That's a good size one. That was, was it? a solid ray. Yeah, I stay well away from those things, mate. <laughs> yeah, remember what happened last time I got tagged? Yeah, she nearly cocked it. Not in a hurry to do that again. Oh, there's another one. Did you see that? <laughs> what was that? Another barra. barra. Jumping. Are you on? Got a fish here. Here we got go. Got a fish. Here we go. Oh, it's a good fish too, Nige. Don't you lose it. Kidney punch. I don't think it's a good fish. Don't have to salmon. Those snub nosed sure. salmon looking oh, things. A jewel fish. Grab yeah. the net, Jase. <laughs> All right. Just hold on, I'll go back to town and get oh, one. Hear him croaking. Oh, got him. Nice. A jewel fish, there you go. That's the first one of them we've ever caught. Not that okay. we caught it, you caught it. What a cool looking fish. What's that thing down here? That yellow, yellow thing. looking thing. Nice work, buddy. Good job, Nodge. Now catch us another one. I'm oh, on. Oh. Yep. What's that? It's a, oh, it's a foul hook. I've foul hooked one of them jewel fishes. You have so. Wow, that's my first. There you go. First jewel fish. Very good. Up until a couple of days ago, I didn't even know they existed. No. Only found in the Gulf of Carpentaria, these things. Is that right? Yep. Holy, Holy <laughs> Did you see that? What was that? Barramundi. Just knocked himself really clean out. If he jumped in the boat, I would have tackled it and claimed it as mine. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? Look at all them Popeye mullet. Look at them. Like, seriously. Why would they even bother with our lure? Oh, my God. Oh, what do you got? I don't know. I whacked the uh, little mullet on you, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> and something just smoked it. Smoked Straight it away. Good. Doesn't look like a barra, but anyway, could it's be wrong. Like a barra, no. It's putting on a bit of a turn. Hopefully it's not a stingray. No, it's not it's a stingray. It's starting to fight a bit like a stingray. What is it? Oh, it's a big catfish. No way! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> look what I got in the bait. Oh, look what I got in the bait net. What do you got? Big brim. Size of it. Yeah. I'm catching a big caddies, you'll catch a broom in the boat net. The size of that, you'd be happy if you caught that at home. Hell yeah, you that would. That thing is a monster. I'd be happy if I caught that instead of this bloody catfish. Whoa! There you go, buddy. I might try to steal my livey. There he goes. Got him. You won? Yep, Mara. Oh. That's a good one. He goes all right. He's a good one. He nailed that one. Look at that. That's, a, that's, a, that's a definitely a keeper, mate. Oh. Oh, oh Jesse's on! Oh, look at that. Oh. oh! Bring him round, Jesse. Bring him round the front. Bring him round the front. That's it. Don't lose him. Oh, don't put oh, him too green. Grab him, Simon. Grab him. Hoist him. Uh, get a, a hot hoist stick. Hoist Let some line hoist out. Stick. Let some line <laughs> out. <laughs> Just get him in. <laughs> look at that. Nice look work, that. mate. Good job. Fish on. Oh, what? Fish on. I right. saw him sitting yeah, there, too. Right. Saw right. a little swirl. Get him. Oh, he's gone deep on me. He's gone deep. Got him? That's another Jack. good barra. Get him in. in. Get him in. Got him? Got him. Boom. Yeah, got him. Boom. <laughs> good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good one. That's hey. a little bit bigger, eh? That's another good barra, That's mate. a keeper. We all have good fish on board. So it's time we start heading back towards town. We are back at the croc farm, and before we feed ourselves, we need to help out Clinton with dinner time for the crocs in the main lagoon. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but this farm here, this crocodile farm, was the first one in Australia. It was started in 1969 by a guy by the name of Rob Breddle. Now, in those days, crocodile, crocodiles were all about shooting. They were about shooting crocodiles as many as they could, and so he had his work cut out for him because he had this vision 
about turning, instead of shooting the crocodiles, let's breed the crocodiles and let's farm them. Let's make it sustainable so that the wild crocodile can live instead of being nearly sent to extinction. Now remember, this is where we release the retired female. Just watch how many crocs are in here. Remembering you couldn't see any a few days ago. Come on! Clinton calls them in. Come on! Come on, big fella. What? What? You, you big dinosaur, you. Come on! Hey, oh, hey, listen hey. to that. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, here comes old mate. Oh, look at him come. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Crocodile. That is coming. You yours over there, you old toothy. There's a big boy. What? Come on, big boy. What? <laughs> They're still coming too. They are coming. Right, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, warm, you know what you don't do around here is go for a swim. No, no, no swimming in here. No swimming. Look at that. Look at this guy, he's got a big head. That's a big croc. Got a couple of big boys in here, Clint. Yeah, there's a couple of big boys there. Oh, what? he's a big boy. The best thing about these crocs in these big lagoons is it's a very natural sort of environment. So they get a fair bit of tucker that uh, Clint and the boys feed out. But, man, look at the bird life in here as well. They'll be... Uh, They'll be just uh, predating naturally in here as well. No. Oi! Imagine being in there. Don't bite that tail. <laughs> How crazy is this? There's a big boy down here. There's another one, big one there. This one here is a big female. There's a big fella coming. Hurry up! Come on, old fella! Oh, look at him. Oh, Come on! Oh, 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 oh. Come on, old fella! He's a tank. Come on! Oh, oh. There's a big boy, eh, Clint? Yeah. That thing is a monster. Boss Croc of the lagoon turns up. Ugly is his name and he has been here since the beginning. He is shy when it comes to humans, but very much the boss croc in here. Ugly likes a personal food delivery. You can see how big Ugly is when Pete, the handler, is standing next to him. The thing is huge. Old mate here is sitting on our camera and doesn't want to leave. I'll tell you what, you the second we rocked up in the back of that ute and the crocs just started coming up out of the water, I don't know, that's, it's just intense. Like, you, you sort of get this jittery feeling like, oh crap, is this safe where we're standing now? And um, yeah, sure enough, they come up and all they're interested in is the feet. Want full episodes of All For Adventure ad-free? Go to unleashed.tv for our full library of content.